So in this video, we're gonna see how to call a sweetlet or a front-end sweetlet using a button click. So in order to add the button, I have created this user event script and I have used the before load entry point. In the before load entry point, I have used the URL module where we have an option of resolve script where I have provided my script ID of the sweetlet and the deployment ID of the sweetlet. And this is going to provide me the internal URL. And I have used the form object, which is coming from this before load argument, which is script context.form object. If you want to know more details about this before load entry point, you can check out my video. But whenever we use a script context.form, it actually refers to server n slash UI server widget module. In this n slash UI server widget module, we have a form object members. You just check that form object members. We have an option of form.add button. So this form object members actually refers to the script context.form. So I'm going to use that form object to add the button. I have provided some ID for this button and the label for this button and in the function need of writing my own function and calling the client script to call my function i have directly used this window.open which is a javascript code which is going to open the sweetlet for me so i have passed the argument with a sweetlet url for this window.open and i have uploaded this code also so this is a sweetlet which i am trying to call which is a front end sweetlet i have used the server widget module to create a basic form a email form where there is an option to enter the subject recipient and the message for the email and submit button or if I just go back to an Azure account, so this is the deployment of my user event script, which I have deployed on a sales order record. And this user event script, as I mentioned before, that's only before load entry point. And this is the sweetlet, which I have also deployed. And I also provided a navigation link in order to navigate also, but I'm not going to navigate as of now. And here we can see the internal URL, everything. But what we have planned is we are going to call this front end sweetlet via a button click. So I have deployed my user event script on the sales order record. So I'm going to go back to sales order record. On the right hand side, you can already see this custom button to call sweetlet. This is because I have already opened this sales order record. Let me just refresh the sales order. Just remain same. Or even if I edit the sales order, I should be able to see the button. It's because we have not added any condition in our user and script whether it should display only on view or create. So here we have the button. If I just click on this button, it should show me the sweetlet. So let's so let's click on this button called as custom button to call sweetlet. So I'm going to click on this button. Now here we have the sentence sweetlet. So now we have called this sweetlet from our user and script, and we have not even used any of our client script to call this uh, a sweetlet. 